That's got food doing a live video and post, and it, obviously I'm rolling now. Um, so I'm in Tupelo, Mississippi. Now this is uh, home of the PAL program, and that's uh, an acronym for Perverts Always Lurking. But uh, I mean, you've seen one uh, minute of lurker action. You've seen them all. I, however, I do when I'm when I anytime I'm in my car, when I'm not in my vehicle, uh, I have motion activated cameras and so forth. That way to uh, because you know people have a, a propensity, these criminals do, to uh, try to destroy everything young. Uh, so the reason I'm, I'm talking right now is um, for several months, those that have been following, if you had, I'm going to bring you up, up to snuff here. As uh, myself and Dr. Sam would start analyzing, uh, her mostly analyzing, um, matter of fact, this didn't start happening until my first trip out to Phoenix, Arizona. Thought it was odd, and so there was so much interference with my security system. Now, how in the world that the uh, my phone's not cooperate? How in the world stalkers would know that I was that far away? Who, you know, stalkers do what stalkers do. It's a national, systemic criminal enterprise. So anyway. And it, and it knocks my Wi-Fi offline. Uh, so, my house is not protected. All my neighbors are, if the ones that are not in on it, are complacent with crimes against other people. So they're just as guilty and culpable as the ones that are doing it. But now, today, I'm able to completely articulate the who, what, when, where on the drones and the interference with my surveillance system. So, yesterday evening, uh, I missed a visit from the Union County Sheriff's Department. Imagine that. On a Friday evening. Uh, I'm going to post that. I'm going to do a collage of the, the footage of uh, uh, him being followed in with a stalker. The stalker goes on and passes the house, but then makes a, another drive-by. That's a hat temper. And then you'll see uh, the stalking par parade ensue from there. Now, the whole intention there is to traumatize and continue to traumatize and traumatize and to break down and destroy and to annihilate, render them to nothing, the victim. Um, I, and I spoke with my attorney, understand, understand what the deal is and so forth, and I'm not going to go into this uh, uh, particular case because they're, they're uh, trying to position do everything they can to put as many people as they can under qualified immunity uh, due to other uh, mitigating factors, and that one being them, uh, the other county uh, being involved, that's Lee County, in a federal lawsuit. I mentioned the PAL program, and I mentioned the chief police on who the acting chief is, or if there's a chief, or, or what the deal is, but... Uh, I anticipate on uh, amending uh, this complaint and adding him to it. So, I'm letting the police chief, Chief Lowe, know uh, uh, that, and uh, respectively, uh, if we need to go up to Saltilla and Guntown and uh, and put, put those in there too, I've got very, very good uh, merit on those alone, uh, on a separate case. So, uh, I hadn't decided yet. It, uh, it, on its face, it's a legal program. What they're doing is criminal. Going back to the drone. So, we noticed these uh, flashing, these, uh, these lights and this stuff, and it was distracting and, and triggering my, my cameras. So, the object in, in the, the perp's mind is continue to trigger, trigger, trigger the cameras, make the Wi-Fi crash. And... Uh, so, uh, I, I changed that up, and the drone flyer obviously changed up 
what uh, they were doing. I noticed two different, during the same time span, two different light patterns, shapes of light. And uh, I found that strange, but it all makes sense now. For six years, when I first moved to the address that I'm at, that I live at now, I, I remember being out in my yard one day in, very, in a very close proximity to where I live, behind my house, I hear uh, people hollering and shooting shotguns. Well, I'm in the country, I grew up in, in the country, but th this is the difference. The pellets from the shotgun were coming down and, and hitting me. Well, I don't know where to do that at, but it didn't happen one time, it happened several times. I had a perp at the house with me, and, uh, and of course he did what all perps are expected to do, and that is the yellow street, it's no good if you don't use it, and ran in the house. I said, well, I'm telling you one thing, I know exactly where it's going, and I drove around there to the people's house. And uh, so some uh, obvious alcoholic old man, and I said, who, who in the hell shooting guns over here? Ain't nobody shooting no guns. I said, that's a damn lie. And uh, his son, I, I saw him walked up and said, yeah, we was uh, shooting over there. I said, no, you were shooting over there towards that house with red top on it. And uh, then the old man said, when he said, after he said, one of my shooting guns, well, it was just bird shot. Went from nobody shooting it to bird shot, you know. Uh, I said, well, let me tell you, I, I'm not a bird. And uh, I said, I don't react too well to people shooting guns and pellets hitting me, okay? I I interpret that as one thing. And and so I trust we're not going to be having an issue with that. Because if it happens again, I'm not going to be coming over here and talking to anybody. And so that that's the first and last conversation I have with these people. Well, all the land, if I all the land stuff around, around there. But they've been right smack dab in the middle of uh, trying to be uh, silent, key, master, uh, players or something in these crimes. It's an old bull, young bull. And I've waited, and I've waited, and I've waited. Well, finally, it, if you wait long enough and you document, you will catch them slipping. I've done made the vow. I know where they're organizing on these people's property, which makes them liable for crimes that are committed from the people that organize there. They leave there and go commit a crime. Hey, you look, you housed it, you're, 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 uh, you, you sponsored it, so I'm holding you liable. And I could add a whole bunch of other things in there. So after the deputy left, then, then this praise starts. Well, then I noticed some interference with one of my cameras. As if, now there was a storm uh, brewing about this time that something was blowing or flapping uh, in front of the, the lens on that camera. There is nothing in and around that camera that could possibly blow or flap. It was, I, I, it, would, it, would, it, would, it was very uh, systematic. And go from this side to that side. So I knew that it was uh, something that it was done, and I've got that recorded intentionally. I said, okay, I'll be your huckleberry. So I stayed up about five o'clock, low enough to get what I got, what I'm gonna tell you. So I've got a pair of, of, of night vision, and, um, 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 and um, the uh, heat is that, heat detection, whatever that's called. It, uh, thermal imaging, all that set up. Pretty good set of binoculars. And it's a camera as well. Alright? And uh, so I, I'm looking at a drone and uh, through, through them, after all this was going on, you know, well, he, he turns his lights off. Well, I, I put my own thermal imaging. I, I can still see him, you know. Uh, and so, but this particular drone, I was mowing my grass the other day and going to get within three or four foot of my head. 
got three or four foot in my head. And uh, I've got a stalker just trying to. You can see that. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 there you go. That's where it's at. Take that one. It's all right. Moron. So, anyway, um, you go fly around my head and stuff while I'm mowing the grass. Now, here's the backstory is so many videos have been posted about the drone interference and so forth, these government drones that long range, you can stay up 24 and 7, all that stuff. I've also been aware. Dr. Stanley might be aware where you got little ones been flying through the yard stuff. I said, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, uh, it is what it is. But I was one put two and two together. And so I started seeing that interference with the lights and then something flapping. This is a new little trick. And then the pervert had the audacity to hover down to my window that was open. I, I watch outside see what was going on and started flashing lights and stuff at me. Well, that was real cute. So, every time that I would get interference with these drones, it would already be, I'd either be out of town, or it would be a pretty, it would be late, early, early in the morning, when it was pretty sure I was asleep. I don't know how they know if you're asleep or not, but they know. That, you got perping tom, peeping tom, perping toms. So, uh, uh, that, that's been the deal. I said, well, it's odd that, uh, that I said, it seems to me like it, whoever's doing that uh, only feels confident One, when, six, when six, I'm asleep, six. when I'm asleep or away. Which tell, I said, well, you know, they, you know, you got a lot of cowards, cowards do what cowards do. I, I, I couldn't quite figure that out, but I figured it out last night. So, I start scanning the terrain around my house out in some of these uh, property, these dumpy trailers and stuff that are abandoned, all by the same people, and uh, using night vision, and lo and behold, I see, it could have been a midget, or near a midget, but I think it was anywhere from a, maybe a 12 or 13 or 14 year old boy at the most, wearing Looked like it could have been a motorcycle racing outfit. It looked more like a, a Flash Jordan or some kind of. They may have told you, Mom and Dad said you're a superhero. You know they they uh, teach their kids to do this stuff. Had not one but how many? Two drones, one in each hand. He was carrying them. He, he landed them. I said, Ah, He's sitting over in abandoned house riders, watching in real time what he's doing to my cameras and stuff. Because these, these drones are three to uh, 400 yards and, and you need to always keep them in line of sight. I, I've studied a little bit about drones and, and when you get one five foot of it, I know what you're working with, okay? I can tell you the model and everything about going through all that. So I knew when, when he got that close, okay, I see what you're working with. Uh, that, now I know how close you are to me. Which, it, it, that hadn't been a secret. How close then this was been to me. I said, I got a kid. Now imagine uh, how many times have I said that these criminal pervert stalkers use their children somehow, well, if they travel, a, a juvenile. None of that hog shit is going to fly in this situation. I know for a fact that this kid's family sees my post. Why? I know for a fact they're aware of the federal litigation going on right now in Union County behind that. Two, I know that they're aware of the complaints about my security surveillance system being tampered with and I am collecting data for evidence in a civil and federal complaint. Not one, but two. There'd be many criminal complaints. They're aware of that. So, one would have to believe that your child was just oblivious. Now, I don't know any kid that's going to get up and put on an outfit 
and uh, and go out and screw with somebody else's security cameras now at five o'clock in the morning. He's been doing it since uh, all night, so I, I'll have to go back and look at the times. Okay, how about that? So now now we know who the culprit is. I saw exactly where he was going. Made a post this morning. I've been saying for about six years that uh, I said, there's a few of these clowns around here and think they got a little bit. I just wait for them to do the right thing. And when they do, I'm going to take, take them to the state and, and federal court, and I said, I'm going to gut them. I'm absolutely going to gut them. And so now I'm getting a speed ticket. This is this is complete stalker 101. Complete stalker 101. This is how they do it. They get uh, they get law enforcement, get them right smack dab in the middle of it. Right smack dab in the middle of it uh, to back their play. Absolutely. They get them right smack dab in the middle of it. So who was the person that? Tried to run me off the road. It was running in the medium, doing about a hundred college. Or was it a pre pre-arranged deal? <laughs> I bet you're going eighty. I'm not sure which one's running. Well, I'm out the way you saw me. I was going to give you a great. I told you. I bet you're running eighty. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. I'm out running long. I'm running side by side with all the traffic. We're all moving the same same rate. Speed limit seventy five. First of all, speed limit is 65. Okay. So I high, thought it was 75. I what, thought it was 75. If you don't tell me what the speed limit is, get hey, it right. right. I, I thought it was 75. I, I stand thinking, corrected. Thinking don't mean shit, okay? Uh, Make well, sure you know what you're doing. Well, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not cussing you. You're not cussing, but oh, you got but, an attitude. No, you was cussing I don't like me. It. I, because you got an attitude. I got an attitude. I'll come up here and ask you for your license. Well, I'm talking. Okay. I asked you for your license. All right. I'm still talking. I gave you it, sir. Well, you gave them to me. But before you gave them to me, you was telling me something about something I don't know nothing about. Or care about. you asked me. I, you don't know why I stopped you, and right. I explained it to you. Right. So if you want to start over and lose your attitude, I don't mind losing mine. Uh, no, I don't want to start over. Okay, good. I don't want to start. I've been there and done that. All right. Been there and done that. Good deal. I didn't have a problem with telling you to slow down and be mindful of your speed. I was saying. I so, didn't have a problem with that. I had an aggressive group of cars, and it's, I got I, it on I, here. I, I, I was screaming it live. I was screaming it live. And... Uh, I think they dipped right up here at the Shannon exit. I didn't see them. I met you running 80. I have no idea about that. I was that. trying to put a little distance between them. I'm just going down here to this next exit. I got you. But I, I don't know anything about that. You can't blame me for not I, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. I'm Speed limit blaming. on the four lane. I thought it was 75. I'm thinking about I-22. I-22 exit 75. I-22 exit 75. I-22 is 70. Mm. I'm, all I'm saying, Mr. Boris, make sure you know what you're talking yeah, about. You, well, I, know I was close. <laughs> I was close. Anything gonna come back on your driving? No. Oh. Nothing at all. Uh uh. Let me check. It. Okay. What about your tent? My tent. Yeah. Roll this up just a hair for me. Yeah. That may be good. Yeah, that's good. It's uh. Yeah, I can see through it, and I'm blind sometimes. So what happened with the other cars? Man, I don't know. I'm sitting. I'm sitting here streaming live and. It was a car. You're doing what live? Out streaming, doing a video. I had, uh, uh, there was like two cars in the right lane, running the same speed. And I'm running probably 70, 75 at that point. And this other car gets almost like on my bumper. You know, when you can't see, you can't you read can't their see. tag. They're too close. They're too close. I tap the brakes a couple times. And so they get, and uh, I'm talking. This medium, like that, in a Tahoe, I said. And then, I mean, it was crazy. She was determined. And then she didn't go two blocks and got off on the uh, Nelson exit. Okay. It was like she was making a point. They was making a point, you know. And uh, so I, I got talking on that, got carried away a little bit. I didn't know so that's all that was. I didn't know nothing about that. I met you running 80. Okay. So I, was, I believe you. I, I believe was going to have a conversation with you about that. I believe you. I have you. no idea about I, yeah, I, that. I thought, I, yeah, really, I thought it was 75 for real. Well, sir, uh, it's going to be 55. I mean, I, I remember it was 55, and you know, you never could get anywhere. Yeah. It's 55 on the two lanes. Uh, I know. Ways. I know.
But I mean, it was 55 on the interstate. No, it's, it's it, what, it was called time. That's for your time. I got time. you. That's for your time. Uh, hey, listen, I just need you to be mindful of your speed zones. The only reason I, that's all I was going to tell you. I got you. Can you do uh, that? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't need a ticket, that's for sure. Nobody wants one. Well, no. I don't want one or need one. I got you. Man, it's always, uh, I don't know, just kind of. One, don't, six, don't do what six, you did. That's all I'm trying to say. That's my ex worrying me. I got you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I got you. I appreciate it. Just want to uh, be careful. I, I'll do it. Morrow. Morrow. Yeah. You trying to get me on your live? No, I no, no. I, I wasn't doing that. I just, I just want to remember your name. I got you. know, it's, a, it's an exceptional thing when you meet a level-headed, uh, someone in law enforcement level-headed, and uh, so that's why I, so I appreciate you. you. Look, just be careful, all right? All right that's I, all we I, ask. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, man. I am very happy, folks. Uh, uh, so, who knows? Was I being gaslighted? I don't know. But I sure didn't need another ticket. All right, back at it. Let me keep the speed limit down at least until he gets up somewhere else. I'm gonna go back a different way because I, I drive fast. Anyway, um, where was I? So I get this, uh, I'm watching this uh, kid with these drones and where he's going. Now, there's no way that the, the parents and people involved and where he was parked, he may have drove the four wheeler over there uh, from an, I kind of got the schematic of where I, I think he lives. I know where he posted up. Those people that have been active in the stalking deal, it, it's, it's all been a, uh, a kind of just an inside joke. We got him. We're driving him crazy. No, what you're doing is that's called you're interfering in a federal case. You're interfering with my surveillance system, and you're well aware of what's going on. So there's no uh, any kind of, of, of explanation that you could possibly give law enforcement, or judge as to why you thought it was okay. Now, I'm quite sure that the kid is uh, is not going to uh, uh, take the stand because of his age. So, you're not going to be able to speak for the kid. That won't be admissible in evidence. Well, he said that he didn't have no idea. None of that comes in there. It's on mommy and daddy. Okay, and let's see how mommy and daddy can perjure themselves. Don't care what kind of lawyer you get. I'm telling you, I get this dog to represent me. All I've got to do is show them the footage. So I am going to make the complaint. I'm going to jump through those hoops, Union County. I don't expect them to do anything. I don't expect them to do anything. But you best believe, there be several names on it, and uh, I'm going to make the criminal complaint. And simultaneously file a file in uh, uh, it's Chancery Court a lawsuit. Okay, that's the beginning. If we ain't got started, to what's going to be submitted to the U.S. Attorney's Office and submitted to Judge Mills and uh, uh, Judge uh, the other judge, uh, boy. Percy is a magistrate, and uh, so anyway, but those judges, both of those cases in Union County, will get the same thing. I've asked for injunctive relief. I've established a pattern of them stalking with their children with Union County Sheriff's Department always being in the picture. And the fire department in the picture. Last night, in the picture. Uh, there's no way they can separate themselves from them running this program, which is illegal. There's no way they can separate themselves with the obstruction of justice and the plot thickens. But I just want everybody to know, especially in Union County, and especially, and you know who you are. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that away because I know who you are. And uh, you try to be low key. And you, 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 you do do extra, extra, extra work to try to be low-key 
and pretend like you ain't got nothing to do with it. But I'm going to tell you, folks. I'm going to tell you. When you in a pack of dogs and they all barking, it's the one sitting over where it's quiet, that's the one you got to watch. And that's the one I've been watching. And I bet, and I've zero, done zero in on them. I just need to wait for them and step on out there with that. Because, you see, they, they're going over there in Ratville, where you're posted up. And all them people in there, not, they're not going to, they're not going to be able to get all those people to uh, say the same thing. When a federal agent comes out and asks you a question, I give some legal advice. Intentionally lying to a federal agent is felony. Okay? That's all I can tell you there. If you say, uh, no, nobody ever said, whatever, they ask you. Go ahead and lie if you want to. And see how that comes. Chances are, when they ask you a question, they already know the answer. Okay? And there's a many of people sitting in the penitentiary based on what I just told you. When they come to ask you the question, you're assuming that you're going to be able to talk your way out of it. Well, let me tell you what, Chief. They know the answer to every question they're going to ask you. You're not dealing with these state boys. We're telling me what's going on. What we're going to do here. It does not work like that. Okay? You're in a different world. And I know that. You don't know it. But you ask clowns that have been systematically torturing, destroying property, breaking and entering. It goes on and on. Harboring. The perks, I've had to run off my property that go straight over there. These other individuals like, he's the point man. He gives them a ride out of there. Yeah. So, anyway. So, I'd like to thank the uh, the pervert cowards and the silent, powerful people out there that think that they have got this spooky, unprovable deal. All right? We're not going to talk about the frequencies and stuff. All right, we we know it's not too far off from it's just bird shot. I'm not the dummy that they are. I'm there for one reason, one reason only, and that's to do what I said I was gonna do when they started screwing with me when I moved in up there. I'm a man of my word. There's times sometimes I can't. Be, be a certain place to do something when I say I can, but I'll guarantee you I'll step up and play, and, and I, I will I'll clear it. That's the kind of person I am. A man's word should be his bond. I don't, I'm not in on this whispering, gossiping, and, uh, and destroying people, and uh, blacklisting, smear tactics, all that stuff. I'm not down with that, never have been. Furthermore, I try to separate myself from the trash that absolutely loves to wallow in them and slap backs with them and break bread with them. And they put their children out there and show their children. But let me tell you what, folks. Those kids, all the kids, okay, they go to school. And you got kids talk. Those kids, at least... They're going to get a positive message out of this deal. They're going to get a positive message about uh, how mommy and daddy's uh, world of fake secrets blew up in their face. Because the crazy man and Alpine made it happen. No, they made it happen. They're pathetic and deplorable. And I tell you, they handed it to me last night, so I just had to go live to break that with those uh, folks in Alpine you keep snickering slapping your legs and doing what you're doing most of you ain't got nothing but there's a few that do and it just so happen they ain't it too so and the ones that ain't I, I feel sorry for you bad luck I hope you'll get caught up in it it seems to me like you're going to have problems getting an attorney and getting canteen and commissary when you go to prison but, you know, that's not my problem. You should have thought about that a long time ago before you started participating in Operation Bullshit.
criminals yet. And the sheriff can't save you. These local judges can't save you. And they're not going to. By them saving you or helping you, they're implicating themselves more and more and more. Watch how quick they start wiping the shit off their shoes. You're the shit, all right? That's the way it's going down. Till next time, God bless you.